Forget the SR-71 Blackbird. The highest jet flight in history was not American, it was Soviet. In 1977, a MiG-25 went so high it nearly brushed space itself. The MiG-25 Foxbat was designed as a blisteringly fast interceptor, meant to chase bombers and spy planes at extreme altitudes. Twin Tomansky turbojets gave it raw supersonic thrust, and a stripped-down test version, the MiG-25M, was prepared purely for record-breaking climbs. On the 31st of August, 1977, Soviet test pilot Alexander Fedotov launched into a zoom climb. He built supersonic speed at lower altitude, then pulled steeply upward, trading velocity for height. At the top, his jet was not flying so much as coasting, skimming the stratosphere, where the air is almost gone. How high is that? Concorde cruised at 60,000 feet. The U-2 spy plane, about 70,000. The SR-71, 85,000. Fedotov went 123,520 feet, nearly 38 kilometers, over twice the altitude of Concorde, right to the edge of space. It was dangerous. At that altitude, the engines barely worked, the wings barely lifted, and one mistake meant disaster. But Fedotov's flight still stands as the highest altitude ever reached by an air-breathing jet. Nearly 50 years later, no one has broken it. So here is the debate. Did the Soviets push the MiG-25 beyond genius engineering? Or was this just a publicity stunt that risked everything for bragging rights?